Good afternoon, I'm Rob Macko. Lee will be back next week. First at four, fires are breaking out left and right all across the Ozarks, and firefighters are feeling some burnout. Reagan DeTrolio spoke with rural firefighters about the struggle. She joins us live now at the Southern Dallas County Fire Protection District in Buffalo with what they're facing out there, Reagan. Rob, as you can see, firefighters here in Buffalo are all volunteer, and with the amount of fires they've been battling recently, it's becoming unbearable since they're already so short-staffed. When you have one fire in a day, it, it's manageable. When you have two fires, you get pretty tired, but when you have three or four, you are literally, by the end of the day, exhausted. Southern Dallas County Fire Chief Dave Moore is urging the community to not burn right now. You can't have any burning whatsoever when conditions are this dry. We're literally living in a tinderbox because the leaves are crispy, the, the trees are crispy, everything is is just ready to go up. He says his crews have been responding to around four to five fires a day, most of which are totally preventable. It was pretty obvious someone probably tossed a cigarette as they were driving by. Thank God it was on the upwind side of the road and didn't jump the road because if it had, we would have been looking at a 15 acre natural cover fire with possibility of a, a house. And even though we got a little rain overnight, it's still not enough to openly burn right now. It was one tenth of an inch is what we got. That's That was great to get, keep down the dust on the gravel roads, but that's about it. And next week is expected to be worse. Starting Monday all next week, we're gonna see an increase in temperatures and low humidity and high winds. That's just a recipe for a disaster when it comes to outside fires. Tuesday is gonna be an extreme fire danger day because of the high winds. I guess they're expecting 40 mile an hour gusts. And with the conditions that we have currently, all it's gonna take is one careless act and we're gonna have a big, big problem on our hands. Now, some of the fires have been sparked by farm equipment. The chief here gave me some tips like making sure you have a fire extinguisher handy on your tractor and ensuring that your bearings are greased if you own a piece of heavy farm equipment or heavy machinery, rather. Live in Buffalo, I'm Reagan DeTrolio, KY3 News.